I'm gonna show you how to edit videos using the InShot video editor, and I hate long intros, so let's just jump into this video. Now, I'll be doing this tutorial from my iPad, but this will be the exact same experience if you are on iPhone or Android, so let's begin. To get started, all you have to do is click on video, and you'll be taken into your library. In here, you can sort by video clips, photos, or the mix of both of them. You can also sort by album, which I'm gonna to go to my editing project where I have all my files. All you have to do is click on the files that you want to add. And once all those files are selected, simply click the check mark and this will add it to the project. Inside of here, you can use your finger on the timeline down here to be able to scroll through your footage and preview it. You can also use your fingers to pinch to zoom out or pinch to zoom in if you wanna get up close. If you wanna rearrange your clips, simply hold your finger down on a clip and then you can drag it around and move it to where you want it. And then click the back button here and your clips are rearranged. Now, if we wanted to reverse that action or any action, there is a back button here that you can click and that'll reverse any action or any deleting of anything. And with that, let's get into the actual editing process. To trim a video, simply click on the video and you'll notice two thick white bars appear on either side. You can grab those with your finger and be able to drag right to the point where you want the video to begin. Now, while this works for some clips, it's not exactly accurate. So let me show you another way to do this. Now, what I like to do is align the white line here, which is called the playhead, right where the video clip begins. So I can see I'm about to start talking right here. And then what I like to do is click the split button, which is right here, click that, and the video clip will now begin right there. And I can delete this beginning section where I was getting the camera set up. I can also do this for the end of the clip, right where I stopped talking, which is right there. I can click on the video, I can click the split button, and then delete the ending where I'm finishing up my video. This also works great if you wanna delete something from the middle of a video clip. So let's say I wanted to cut this clip down a bit, I can click here and click split, and then I can scroll to the end, maybe I want it to start up close with this uh, uh, sea otter, and I can click the split button again, and then I can delete this middle section because I split the beginning and the ending, and now the clip will cut right to that point. Now let's get into some more fun stuff. If you wanna add text to your video, simply click the text button and then type out your text. I'll go with a little hello. And in here, I can change the text color. If I want a shadow behind it, I can also click on the letters here and change the font to maybe something a little bit more bold. I can also change whether it is centered and the letter spacing and things like that. And then I can also change if I want there to be a transition. Maybe I want the, the text to fade in, and I can also change the duration of that, and I can also change the out animation to make it fade out as well, so it'll fade in and fade out. Once you've made all your changes, just click the check button, and it'll add it to your project. You'll notice the text is right above my video here in the timeline. I can use my fingers, and I can trim the text, to change the duration of it. I can also grab it with my finger and be able to drag it anywhere in the timeline to add. Once you're all set, click the check mark again, and you'll notice a green line there, and that is where our text comes in, and also where our text goes out. And you can always go back and make adjustments again just by clicking text again. You'll notice there's our little text piece again, and then we can always add more if we want to. Now you'll also notice that this is where we add stickers. So if we click on sticker, there's a whole bunch of fun stickers in here that we can use and add to our videos. There's also a GIF option, where if you wanna add GIFs to your videos, you can do so right there. So be sure to click through these and explore them. I'm sure there's a lot of fun ones in here. If you wanna add music to your project, all you have to do is click on the music button in here, then click plus to music, and you'll have access to a whole bunch of songs built into InShot. Now, personally, I don't trust any editing apps that give me free music because I don't know if they have the proper rights to where I can use it on all these different social media platforms. So it's kind of a use the music at your own risk if you want to. Personally, I've been using Epidemic Sound for years, which gives me access to copyright free music that I actually have the rights to use on just about every social media platform. If you want to check 
check them out. I am an affiliate. You can click the link down below in the description and get a 30 day free trial and test it out for yourself. But whether you click on one of these songs or you decide to import music from Epidemic Sound, you can easily click on the music, click use, and it'll add it to your project. You can also trim that music, adjust the volume so it's not blaring loud. Uh, and move it throughout your timeline. If you want to add an overlay or a video inside of a video or a picture in a picture, you can click the picture in picture button here and this will open up all your footage again. You can click on the video that you want to use as an overlay and this works great for reaction videos, gaming videos, etc. In this example, I just got some B-roll here so I could increase the size to take up the full screen or if it was a reaction video, I could shrink the size with my fingers you know, put my reaction in the corner there. So that way that's happening. Uh, but you can move it around the screen. You can also trim the video uh, down below in your timeline by just grabbing that and trimming it. And then you have all your settings for this video clip, like the volume and different things like that. If you wanna add filters and adjustments to your video, you can just click the filter button and then you can click either filter or adjustment. Adjustment's gonna give you your basic settings like brightness, contrast, warmth, saturation. And if you go over to filters, you'll find a whole bunch of cool filters you can apply and adjust the intensity with this little meter. If you wanna add transitions in between your videos, you'll notice this little white dot in between each of the clips. If you click on that, it'll let you apply a transition. So they got some basic ones here, like I can do this basic uh, over one like that. I can also adjust how long it takes that transition to apply so I can make it a little bit longer. Click the check mark and I now have a transition in between my video clips. And once you're done making all these different adjustments, you can then click the share button up here to save that video to your gallery change the resolution and then click save and you are all set. Now, if you wanna learn how to make professional looking videos on your smartphone, be sure to check out these two resources here. I'm putting together a smartphone course that'll show you how to do this. So be sure to get on the wait list for that. Otherwise, check out our advanced editing tips in InShot video, which will teach you some more tips that you can do within this awesome app. I'll catch you guys later.